Next item we're going to take a look at here is, is I've got some one by one by one eighth carbon steel angle, about 12 inches long here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and clamp these together. I've got my vice grip 6Rs here, a couple of tools that I purchased when I was a pretty young welding student and they've worked pretty well for me over the years here. Uh, I really like to use these a lot. Keep plenty of pairs of these in my toolbox and whenever they're on sale I always grab a couple more. So there we've got them clamped up and we're set up and ready to go is we're going to make an attempt at the seam weld down the upper edge of the joint here. Once again we're going to use a piece of our 1 8 code arc 7018 MR from Lincoln Electric here. Uh, we're going to use the same machine settings that we had previously. Uh, we're going to give this a try. So I've placed the electrode in the electrode holder as such. Okay, here we go. Put your hood down and away we go. Now that we've got the arc started, we want to maintain a consistent travel speed down the entire length so that the profile of the weld is even. We want to make sure that the puddle is full just enough that it fills up the entire joint but doesn't spill over the sides of the angle. And we want to hold about a 15 to 20 degree travel angle in the direction that we're moving. Okay, let's see how we did. Once again, for sake of time, I'm chipping the slag off here pretty quickly, but I'd suggest if you were doing it, to leave it there a little bit longer, 30 seconds to a minute. I find that if you start hitting on it while it's still hot, usually the slag wants to grab right to the surface. So that looks pretty good. Okay, now let's take a moment here and finish up that weld that we just made. Uh, so I've got a new Bosch grinder here that I picked up at Home Depot the other evening. They had two packs on sale for $99, so I went ahead and picked one of these up. Uh, and then we're going to use a Pearl Max Disc uh, flapper here, uh, 60 grit. Uh, this is a couple of wheels somebody gave me when I was at the AWS show in Las Vegas last month. Uh, so okay, let's take a peek here and see how we do. So if you want the joint to look smooth when you get done and even, continue up and down the joint and don't stop or dwell in any one location for very long at all or you'll put a gouge or a groove that you'll have to fill in later. Okay, we could move the clamp if we wanted to and finish up the balance of that. But there's a good way to finish off that weld, make it nice and smooth, clean, free of any kind of deburred, and ready to go. So wipe off that, brush that off, little primer, and we're ready for paint.